Hi, my name is Matt Compton, and my final research paper is titled The Effect of Summarization in the Retention of Content Knowledge of High School Students. So the, the purpose of this research was to determine if the strategy of summarizing is effective in helping uh, students to retain information for the test. I wanted to separate this strategy alone and just look at it by itself if, if that uh, is effective. And I really wanted to focus on um, summarizing during just the closing portion uh, of a lesson instead of the opening or maybe the work time portion of it. My target audience for this paper uh, is professional learning communities in general, which includes teachers and principals and other staff as well. Uh, so anyone really in education uh, that has something to do with building lessons. And so the, the reason why I wanted to reach these people is because I think that everybody's looking for a, a, a way to connect with students to help them to retain the information that we teach. And I, through some literature research, feel like we've kind of discovered something here uh, and I wanted to research this further. In my literature review, I initially struggled to find a lot of stuff on summarization alone. And so I took the approach of looking at what engages students uh, and then some factors that go into knowledge retention. Uh, and then I looked into summarization as well. Um, when I looked into the engagement of students, it kind of shows that uh, the majority of students agree that they don't necessarily need to be entertained in the classroom. So we don't need to be doing these grand big things. Uh, they, they understand that they're supposed to be engaged in the learning process. And then they also understand that their, their knowledge is going to be checked. And so that kind of played into the, the closing portion of um, the, the strategy of summarization. And that's one of the reasons why I looked at that. Uh, the next is the factors of knowledge retention. Some factors uh, showed some positive statistical significance with content retention, uh, where the ability for students to have control of the learning process. So the control of the learning process in that particular study looked at uh, a recorded lecture. And so they were able to replay it and they were able to listen to it in chunks that they saw fit. And uh, so they saw some positive statistical significance there. Uh, another factor showed um, the effect of content retention was the ability to use a computer for some note taking instead of handwriting that. So, um, and that'll play a factor in, um, or I bring that up again in my, my closing, my recommendations later on. Uh, the last thing that I looked at in my literature review was the effectiveness of summarization. So some studies showed a, a link between retention of knowledge and assistive writing, um, which, kind of goes along with the theme of summarization. Uh, there were some positive, but not significant trends that occurred between summarizing and higher test scores. Uh, and that was coupled with a couple other different strategies as well. And so there were lots of positive trends, but nothing that was significant that stood alone. And what I mean by that is there wasn't a, like a, there wasn't a study that looked at just summarizing and just content retention, there was stuff that there was other factors involved with it. And so that kind of led me to uh, want to research summarization by itself. So that brings me to my research question. Um, the intent of this study was to test the theory that summarizing daily during a closing portion of a lesson will have significantly higher test scores associated with that lesson compared to those that did not summarize daily during the closing portion of that lesson. Uh, therefore, my 
an independent variable is going to be um, the summarizing that the students will be completing during the closing portion. And then the dependent variable is going to be the test scores that we'll compare at the end. Because I saw a lot of positive trends in the literature review, uh, my hypothesis is that there's going to be a, a difference in the test scores between the students that summarize at the end of the lesson and the students that do not summarize uh, at the end of the lesson. Uh, the null hypothesis then is going to be that there will not be a difference in the test scores that the students um, that summarize at the end of the lesson and the students that do not summarize at the end of the lesson. For this study, my sample included 73 high school anatomy and physiology students. Uh, they were selected at a convenience. They were uh, students of mine already. Uh, therefore, I did not have to get approval from the IRB committee to complete this research assignment. This study um, is quantitative in nature. The one group was able to summarize uh, at the end of every lesson uh, for each lesson in that unit and uh, another group was not. So they did not summarize, they did no closing activity whatsoever. Uh, the test scores were then plugged into uh, an independent t-test to compare and analyze after that. The instrument that I used to test the students was a standard test um, that we give through our learning management system called Canvas. Um, it, it was a summative assignment. It consisted of 19 questions and 32 parts, some of the questions having multiple parts, and it covered everything that we studied for the previous two weeks. I was able to check the validity of uh, my research data um, upon getting that back. Um, the visual analysis of the histograms, um, each group indicated normality of distribution. And the results of the Levine's test indicated homogeneity of variance um, with a p-score of greater than 0.05. I assumed independence because there was no evidence that one participant's test score affected another one's and the data was collected at interval level. So that checked all the boxes there for um, the validity of my, of my data. The data that was collected um, for the analysis were the test scores at the end of the unit. Uh, the unit lasted about two weeks, 10 days of uh, instructional nine days of instruction and then the tenth day was a test day uh, and the summative took approximately 30 minutes for the students to complete upon getting my data back um, looking at the analysis portion uh, there was a positive trend um, there were higher test scores associated with the ones that summarized However, um, the difference of 2.65 uh, on the average of the test scores uh, was not a statistically significant. Uh, and you can see the, the p-score um, there was greater than 0 0.05, which indicated that it was not statistically significant. As far as my recommendations and opinions, uh, I'll start by saying that I think there needs to be more of a set standard when it comes to summarizing. Uh, since I let the students summarize on their own, uh, I, I think that it wasn't really effective. Um, if, I, if I was to truly require them to write three to four sentences on what was learned during the lesson, uh, it may be more beneficial. So setting some kind of standard like that uh, some kind of requirement of words that they have to meet or sentences they have to meet um, might be good to look into. Also, assistive writing strategies could be worth exploring if we were to continue with this research. Uh, maybe including things like sentence stems or having some prompts that uh, the students had to summarize um, would be uh, beneficial as well. Uh, and then finally, 
It might also be worth looking into the ability for uh, students to complete these summaries on a computer. Again, I just think that students nowadays might feel more comfortable on a computer than they do writing down notes. So, uh, oh, sorry, on a, like by hand. Um, so uh, with more comfortable um, writing maybe comes better scores or better summaries, which leads to better scores. But um, all of that's just worth exploring at this point. Uh, as far as opinions go, I think that um, it did show a positive trend, but since it's not significant, uh, it can't really be used to support any decisions made by a PLC group at this point. So in conclusion, uh, since the research showed a positive trend, I do think it's worth continuing to study further. Uh, the literature review also showed a lot of positive trends when it came to uh, increasing content knowledge using writing, even if they weren't all significant. Um, with more parameters around the summarization portion of the closing, I think that there could be some different outcomes than what was accomplished during this study. Thank you.